It's an angsty queer drama with just the right amount of doll murder by Oct 12, 2021, 6 18 p.m. Net photo, Steve Wilkie slash USA Network. It's easy to forget how good the child's play movies are. Don Mancini's film franchise about Chucky, a murderous red haired doll possessed by the spirit of a dead murderer, rides the line between campy comedy and gory slasher, and it's often managed that perfectly since its 1988 debut. For people with a significant fondness for goofiness and gore in equal measure, few series are as adept at delivering both as Child's Play and its six sequels. After years of fun at the movies, Chucky is launching his latest murderous misadventure as the star of a TV show for Sci-Fi and the USA Network, and he hasn't lost any of his talent for killing or comedy on the way to the small screen. The new series, which is just called Chucky, is a direct sequel to the previous seven movies. Mancini also returns to the franchise as the series creator, writer, and showrunner, and thank God, because 2019's disastrous reboot Child's Play was a crucial reminder that nothing about Chucky works without Mancini. Unlike some of the more recent films, which followed the doll and sometimes his bride Tiffany as the main characters, Chucky follows queer middle schooler Jake Wheeler, Zachary Arthur, who lives in the small New Jersey town of Hackensack. That just happens to be the birthplace of Charles Lee Ray, the serial killer whose soul inhabits the good guy's doll known as Chucky. Photo, Steve Wilkie slash USA Network The switch from child protagonist to a young teenager in the lead role is a huge reason the show works so well. At its core, Chucky is a teen dramedy about the difficulties of school, bullies, first crushes, and even coming to terms with sexuality something Mancini, an openly gay man, handles far more deftly than many recent teen shows. The first few episodes are mostly about introducing the cast, including Jake's classmates and Hackensack's adults. On their own, the show's characters would be compelling enough to entertain fans for a 10-episode Netflix show, but the twist arrives when Jake happens to buy Chucky at a yard sale, and the doll reveals his bloodthirst. The addition of a sentient murder doll, particularly one as foul-mouthed and gleeful as Chucky, lets Mancini ratchet up the emotions into pure melodrama, making all the usual teen angst issues a little more fun.